Is Billy okay? Yeah, he's just wondering why you're mad at Nana Leanne. Did you tell him I'm not and that it's all sorted? Yeah. Love lying to my kid. Hey, I will make it up to her, babe. And then it won't be a lie. Take it easy, mate. You okay? Yep. Just my own business. What did Breed ever do to you? Don't try to be funny, Mum. It's embarrassing. Hey. Hey. I'm sorry that you're not allowed to visit Cassie. But I can check on her tomorrow, let you know how she's going. Just forget her. Charming. Yeah, I'll talk to him. He's taking this Cassie thing really hard. He just wants to visit her, hang out, keep her company. Yeah, it seems to be going around. What do you mean? Don't you think it was a little bit weird? Drew going off at Justine for being a bad mother. We have to talk about Justine. Can't seem to get away from that woman. Hey, that woman brought in 30 people to donate blood to the hospital. Yeah, I know. I know, I've been... I've been super judgy. I'm not proud of it. I will apologise tomorrow. Huh. Well, that's good. She's entitled to her beliefs, even if she's very annoying about them. Well, I applaud your grudging apology, but that's not really why I brought it up. No. Well, it's not really like Drew to go off at a patient's family, is it? Did I mention she's very annoying? But you're right. It's not like him. I just... I feel like something's off at home. Why? Did Harper say something? No, but I haven't been the best friend lately. I haven't checked in in ages. You're not a bad friend, babe. It's just life. Mm. Just things are tense between them. Well, they have stressful jobs and three young kids. It'd be weird if things didn't seem a little off. Yeah, yeah. You're probably right. I've rustled up ten more donuts. Can you squeeze them in? Yeah, of course. Oh, you're a superstar. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Morning, mate. Uh, do you need me? Yeah, I need you to take my donation. Uh, what? You want to donate blood? The entire Brightstone congregation turned out to donate. That is the least I can do. Well, hardly the entire congregation. We're talking thousands of people. I'll do the coffee run. You're a flat white kind of girl. You don't have to do that. This is the bright shine way. Kindness. Thinking of others. Look, Justine, I owe you an apology. I know I haven't been the most open-minded person, so... I'm sorry. Thank you. No, you don't need to thank me. I've got no excuse for being so rude when your daughter's been fighting for her life. No, I'm sorry too. I, I shouldn't have kept them apart. Cassie really misses Wilder. Well, it was a big change from yesterday. His mercies never come to an end, they're new every morning. Okay. Is that a song? That's in the Bible, Dawn. Hello. Uh, if God has mercy on me every morning, who am I to hold a grudge the next day? That is a good tip. <laughs> so you're okay with them seeing each other? Yeah. Okay. So, you're forgiving her just like that? Well, Jesus forgave all of us just like that. What about you? Have you forgiven Maeve? What? Why? She hasn't even said sorry yet. What well, does matter? You just try it out. Well, right here now. Yeah, you can do it. I forgive you. Ah. Oh. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, John, I'm just gonna sit you forward and have a listen to your chest, okay? Yeah. Oh, sorry. That's just the nanny. Take it. No, it's fine. Oh, it might be something with the kids. We're okay for a minute, right, Joan? You sure? Yeah. Okay, it won't be a minute. Hi. Got a migraine. Is it a bad one? Oh, you poor thing. Look, um, I actually can't get away right now, but Drew should be finished his shift soon. Can you hold on till then? Oh, thanks a million. You're a trooper. OK, bye. Oh, that sounded bad. Oh, just a minor nanny emergency. Right, well, I, I can get Jack. He'll cover for you. Oh, no, look, Drew can go home and sort the good stuff. Is everything OK with you two? Yeah, we just, um, haven't really been on the same page for a while now, but what do you mean? We're just um, out of sync, and when we tried to get in sync, we were just too tired, so. Right at this point, sync equals sex, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> 
<clears throat> well, it's more embarrassing than anything, you know, just out of practice. All couples go through lulls. It's normal. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Anyway, speaking of sexy, let's go and treat that chest infection. Mm. <laughs> hey, what do you mean? I'm sorry, I just can't get home to be with the kids right now. I've got a coronary bypass. It'll be another three hours at least. Well, can't someone cover for you? I mean, I can't exactly leave either, Drew, and you said that you would sort it. I've asked. No one's available. I'm really sorry. If it wasn't actually a matter of life and death, you know I'd be there. Look, just forget it. Hey, all good? Yeah, um, nothing major. Drew just can't get away to take over from the nanny, but you know, these things happen. Yeah, well, you should go. I mean, I've got things here and Marty can cover. No way, I'm not leaving you, Joe. It's too busy. The nanny's got a migraine, right? She can't exactly look after your kids like that. She's fine. She understands that I'm needed here. Well, if you're sure. I am. Why'd you post a picture of my life? Which one? The one of all of us? The one of me and Ida put together? I literally just told you that we weren't allowed to see each other. Oh, my bad. It just um, slipped my mind. Don't lie. You did it because you're jealous and you probably wanted us to get in trouble. Hey, what's going on? Look, Tilly, I promise I didn't mean anything by that. I just... Whatever. You're pathetic. You OK? Deserve that. Oh, do, do you want to talk about it? No. All right, well, I, I have some good news. There's someone who wants to see you and whose mother finally says it's OK. Really? I can see Cassie? You have Justine's stamp of approval. Cool. <sighs> right, I will transfer that patient to surgical for an appendicectomy. Did you need something? We need you to go home. What? Well, we've juggled things so that you can go home early. I told you I was sorted. Well, Nicole told me about your nanny. My mum used to get migraines so she could barely function. Right, that's really kind, but she is fine, and uh, she said that she's happy to wait for Drew we've got again. you covered. We've got Jack and Rahu here. I don't need to go home. Harper, you can't be stuck here worried if your kids are OK. Get out of here. Please. Right. Well, it looks like I am going home, then. I hope it's OK that I told him what's going on. Yeah, of course. Thanks for sorting. Are you OK? Yeah. You just you seem really stressed. I'm fine. It's all just a bit of a juggle. Is there anything I can do? You've done enough. I better go if I'm going, so see you. <laughs>